John Swan. Yeah, I'm kidding. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get On the me biggest home, stage keep telling me with the biggest me guy. Oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Just let me out. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home. And my balls keep telling me to let me out. Fuck all that shit. Just let me go. Yeah, I'm broadcasting live with Artie Earth. This is the most badass YouTube broadcast in all to no land, ladies and gentlemen. I am Tommy C. This is Shop the Point. My point man today, another as in first, and Volt Behind the Glass. How are you doing, gentlemen? Okay. <laughs> Before we go along, I would just like to retract what we said on the previous stream about John, and I I now see the light, and I would like to apologize. <laughs> I think that his story now adds up and makes sense. Yes. And uh, we shouldn't have questioned it before. He obviously proved himself, and I think we really messed up that. Oh, that. yeah, I know. If you imagine us having to say that. <laughs> <laughs> just I get, kidding. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting messages reversed. I get messages reversed this morning. Fine wine! Fine wine! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, um, uh, if you didn't hear, <laughs> um, apparently uh, some big YouTubers came to Nick and said, uh, this, this, this whole thing's you know bullshit from the top down. And... Um, you know, Nick, it, it, we we talked about it first. Like, 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 I, I was like, wait, Je John better not be lying because if Nick finds out, he's not gonna he, he's it's not gonna over. take one That's uh, for his integrity. That's like like like, like his forward. whole thing. And right. um, yeah, we mentioned it, and I'm like, well, he better not. And I had a feeling this is gonna come out when I when I heard uh, initially, I wasn't terribly surprised. Of course, Nick. You know, he, he contacted me, he felt bad, things got strained out uh, with Will, Willie, and, you know, it, 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 you know, it's just like, you know, do what you got to do. He's, I, I, I really, I, you know, John really pissed away some great friends. Um, and I don't, I'm not saying don't be friends with her or anything like that, but like uh, Bobax, Augie, Tipster, who was devastated when I talked to him last night. That video that he did, that, that, that got a little cringy, that's him. He's, he's really upset. And Augie was almost inconsolable, um, and and yeah, he, he, he this lie is is really powerful in a lot of ways. It divided friends. It divided the commentary community. It divided my news team, and I had nothing to do with it, like nothing. I didn't do a thing, right? All I said is like, ah, it's just it's just too much dogs eating homework here. That's all, you know. Like, who, who cares? Big deal. And, and I, I think we made that like verse abundantly clear. This is it's not the biggest deal in the world. I, I heard, um, I don't know if he wants his name mentioned, uh, but a commentator said to me yesterday, all he had to say was, you mad. That's it, to dream. Bang! And now we found out, find out, and I didn't know this until I did the video, until after I did the video this morning, uh, at least this morning, my time, that dream gave him the opportunity to like come clean and they could you know fix it up so it's obviously dream didn't want to you know mess him up for life i still think dream tried to get out in front of it and and uh uh you know kind of discredit him for for a video but you know that's the drama game you can't really you can't really now i now i can't blame him especially especially yeah. if he had that information the entire time yeah you just holy I shit mean, i don't know if he had it the entire time but he had it no, uh, he, he said he had it a week prior before calling him apparently He's been sitting on that information for a week. John, look, I know a lot that's going on behind the scenes. John had multiple times to, to straighten this out. And it just, as oh, every day oh. went by, it was going to get harder and harder to, you know, save any kind of credibility. I mean, if he lied, like, right away and said, no, I did. And then, you know what? I, I, I didn't want anybody to find out I said the N-word. And I, I really think he could have survived that. I think Tommy, it would have been a couple jokes. It really so didn't matter. What's up? John just deactivated his own Twitter. His own Twitter. Uh, I think it's, it's good gone. night. It's fucking, his Twitter is gone. <laughs> good night, nurse. That's was it. Hundred thousand he has. Or thirty. Time out. Yeah. Oh, you know, oh yeah, he had like thirty kids. Thank you, something. screwdriver. Uh, ting, uh, yeah. So like, I don't know. 
you know that I think that's what bothers me. Like when Nick came to me and he said, that's "Look, you might have been right." Blah blah blah. I fucking I'm not. Order. Like it's not it, being right not is not the most called. important thing in the world. And uh, but when I started thinking about it, like you know, watching Willie and, and Nick, who those guys love each other, you know, and 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 fight, and and, and you know, without getting too much personal stuff, it, it divided the news team as well. And you know, I don't need a situation, John, where people don't trust Nick, John. You know, that's that's the real power of this thing. That's the real power of a lie. It just gets worse and worse and worse. And, you know, I, I wrote this because I don't have my Twitter account um, on my community tab. And I said, like, like I just, I, you know, I don't care one way or another. This is not this is not a big deal. You know, this is this is just completely stupid. But, you know, I, I've he, here's the thing about this. John got by on this character of being ultra professional, uh, thoughtful, well spoken, uh, doesn't get angry. Just because you're like that does not mean you're a fucking not a bastard, and and, and that's the truth. So a lot of people realize like, well, would John do this? Would John? Yeah. Well, I've had problems with John like this before, not bending when it's clearly wrong. I mean, the guy has no ability to take responsibility or say, you know what? You might be right about that. There is no, like, that's never exited his mouth unless he's absolutely and totally cornered. And I've, I've had experiences with that, with the crack this summer about the plagiarism, you know, it's like he took one of his jokes. No, I, and, and then he turned it into, oh, I, I, I didn't plagiarize the video. I didn't say you plagiarized the video. I say you took Nick's joke. And then, you know, he t like, he take his, you know, a star and, and the rest of those jerk offs, like, you know, and, and Billy Beanhead and all those jerk offs um, coming after me. Uh, and then it wasn't until he was totally fucking cornered, probably that Nick was going to expose him, uh, that, that he apologized to me. I mean, even his apology was weird. Like, well, I, I don't agree with what you said, but uh, I can understand why you came to that conclusion. Sound, sound familiar? That's exactly what they said about Dream. Dream's a fucking bastard, but I understand why he thinks I'm a liar. You know, yeah. in, in the Google Doc, it's the most premeditated fucking psychopathic shit I've seen. John was perfectly willing to watch the commentary community individual uh, uh, destroy itself. Uh, my my team get completely divided, and and friendships break up over a troll with uh, Lieutenant Cobra. Yeah, you know, Lieutenant Cobra was clearly involved in this. That was probably more than likely the the Nick Di, the fake Nick Diorio account. He was willing to let us all get eaten alive. So yeah, this is not out of his character. It never was. I've been telling you guys for years. Now John's really it's just sad because John's super talented. I think John did good work on Susie Lou and uh, Deji and and uh, Chris Hansen. But now now I think. People are going to start deep diving into that. Was it true? Is Chris Hansen a good guy? Is is Deji a good guy? Is Susie Lou just completely lied about? No. But was there spice sport on there? I'll tell you right now. I have. I heard there was a stream. Now I want to see it balls to bones. A star. I want to see the fact that Chris Hansen liked uh, your Facebook page. Absolutely. And I'm calling for it right now. I want to see it. Not calling you a liar. I want to see that he went on your dad's Facebook page and liked it. And you know what? Tough titties, if I'm calling your credibility into question, but anything John touched in the last year is going to call the question. I would really, really like to see that. If, if Chris Hansen actually went to your dad's abandoned local band, bar band page. I, I would love to see that. I think that's a fair question. I'm actually a little more willing to hear Susie Lou out and find out about this lawsuit situation. You know, I don't really have much for the Deji because I know I own Nick work with the Deji, but I imagine Nick's question every conversation he's ever had with John. Yeah, so look, you know, like I, I know, uh, I mean, Augie's furious, as he should be. Uh, I know That's Tipster's money, hurt. I guess, he's for, legitimately for hurt. Color. You really hurt Tipster, by the way, John. You hurt him. Uh, tipsters hurt. Um, your friends, your close friends, your Australian friends are just shocked. I don't know why they are, but whatever. Uh, and 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 you 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 kind of cut into my shit. Nick has built this fucking community post Keemstar. 
I keep telling you, he built this, he rebuilt this show. He built Augie, who's a powerhouse. A money, he helped fucking Tipster to some extent, power. and he fucking made John. And he doesn't have 100K to show for it. And I think that's about time that that should change. I think it's time for Nick DiOrio to polish off a fucking play button. And if you all want to dump on Nick, and then he, he did get tunnel vision. There's no doubt about it. I don't think he thought it through. But boy, if I ever got in trouble, I want Nick DiOrio sitting next to me fucking waiting to get locked up. That's a friend. And I tell you something, don't screw him. Don't screw him. I'm surprised, John. What, you didn't think you were going to get... We NCO'd you once. And, and now we NC, NCO'd you twice. It, it, it's become a, 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 a abundantly clear that in the face of absolute evidence, Nick is not going to fucking take a bullet for you. Your pillar of this bridge was built on, I guess Nick won't come out and say he was wrong because that's what I would do. I would never come out and say I was wrong. The, the bridge is gone. The pillar snapped. That's not, that's not who he is. He can say he's wrong. It's okay. I've had to apologize before. I've had to say I was wrong. I've gotten stuff wrong. I've had to go with my own news team. I've had to go into private to say I was out of line. It's called being a grown up. And you're doing videos on people like Deji and, and, and Susie Lou and Chris Hansen and people that have the same problem as you? <laughs> John's not a good dot guy. It, it, it's abundantly clear. In my experiences, long before he became a famous powerhouse YouTuber, was he was not a good guy. It, he was extremely passive aggressive. And uh, I, I didn't know. I didn't know he was spiteful, though. That, that that shocks me. I thought he was just stubborn. But I think it goes far beyond this. Far beyond this. All right, I, I, I don't know. I want to get into funny stuff. Like, right off the bat. Because, I I, I mean, you guys probably listen to Augie, you know, uh, preach and what have you. But I do want to go to Augie's show. This is what uh, um, Willie Mac on Augie's show, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Willie was sucking his own dick for a second. So we had to let him do it. <laughs> Let's listen to this. I think... There was a lie made on, on my theory, right? Is John made a small lie with what? Oh, fuck off. With this thing about it, like not being him or whatever. And then he just went ahead and was like, now he's stuck in the line. He has to double down because his credibility's on the line. That's I all think I think he it would, is. Personally, I'm talking I think like a really him, dumb he would have just drama. said, this was me. I was immature back in the day. I'm sorry. He would have said that right away. Yeah. It, it's, I, it's, I, I do not know John is ever lying. fucking yeah. owning up ever to shit. But John has owned up to shit before. What? Like his <laughs> his horrible scrubby tweet he publicly. What? <laughs> oh, Yo, I'm the only one who's ever brought John thing. to his knees, dude. That's one yeah? thing. I'm Is sure that he's so? done it on other things. That's ironic. I can't think off the top of my head. to his knees, bro. Uh, That's a lot of money, I guess. For yeah, yeah he oh. said that grandmas are. Oh, no, that yeah, children yeah, are getting destroyed. Yeah, I bet one has ever been John over, dude. I've really been on that one. You can skip all this bullshit and go to the other one. Well, I want to skip. The, I want to go right to, uh, I, I think, I, I have an interesting tweet here. Bo Bobax, listen to this. Oh, God. Here, this, this fucking cut me in half, and I make fun of Bobax's autism as much as I possibly can. Here's another thing that bothers me. And look, look, look how he went to bat for you. Like, here's another thing that bothers me <coughs> about the John Swan stuff uh, that is specific to me. John talked to me with me in depth, explaining how a 12 year old using a Discord. Uh, thanks so much, Smash. Um, John talked to me in depth and explaining how a 12 year old using a Discord was autistic and exploitive. Uh, my uh, exploited my knowledge of autism to craft a false narrative. I hate that I was used for that. I, I'd hate it too, fucking Josh. Hey, Keem wants on if you want to let him on. Uh, well, g g g uh, give me some time. I'm, I'm doing my show. And, he says, like, he still he wants to only be has like there. five minutes. He says he's just going to go five minutes. And put a one if yeah, you want like, Keemstar like, in the he, chat. He only has five minutes. Put a one. I want to see. You guys are going to love it. I, 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 I do want to finish the show. There we go. You only have five? All right. Keemstar, shoot! Yo, uh, first of all, I just want to say, here, let me turn my shit down. Sure. I, I only have five minutes. I'm trying to do a fucking drama real quick. Um, Look. <clears throat> All these people are just straight fucking clowns. Like, let's just go through all of it. 
Augie just did a stream and he was like basically saying like, you know, at the beginning I was questioning things and I was wondering about things. Well, you weren't you weren't saying that to your audience at all. You weren't you weren't telling your audience that you had doubts. No, you were just literally using your audience. Kim, Kim, I'm sorry. You 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 went to bat for guys like these guys have fucking rice gum and what have you. They went to bat. They got tunnel vision. I'll give them that. But don't give me the shit that Nick Tipster and Augie are bad people cool. because of Thanks this. Thanks for cutting me off, so I can't make my point. That's awesome. Thanks for cutting me off. So Go. I can't make my point. But looking, these kids are now telling all of you in the chat, like, hey, we had our doubts and hey, this was strange. But they weren't telling you that until That's this fucking money, publicly guess, came out. They were willing to fucking weaponize your stupid little fucking stand brains and get you out there fucking making yourself look stupid, too. They're saying here. I didn't look stupid at all. I called it. I, I, I called it immediately. I thought it was bullshit. Immediately. And I just, not you, not you, Tommy. Yeah, I know you yeah. were on the right side of this. My point is, is that they are sitting here complaining that John Swan lied to them, right? Mm -hmm. And they used, and John, and they were used as fucking pawns, right? And this thing to go defend John Swan, mm -hmm. when they are now saying that they had doubts during this whole I thing. I didn't hear that. And they okay. lied to their fans and not told their fans about the fucking doubt. So fuck all you fake motherfuckers. Uh, it's all bullshit. Money, you never look at this color, shit or... like... You know, fair, you're always just fucking, you're, this whole commentary community is one voice, one voice. And so when one of you goes down, all of you goes down. Tommy, thank you for having a different opinion. On is your all right, story you. over? Okay. I don't <laughs> Good, know. Let me finish the show. I, don't live, I know you're still listening, so I'm just going to answer right now. Okay. You showed up to my live stream at the very end, demanding I come on, saying I was totally being uncharitable to dream in any capacity. Meanwhile, if you watch my like fucking three hour live stream I did, I totally, and Tommy and Willie watched it, I totally acknowledge where John Swan could have lied, where John's story wasn't strong. I said it was probable, not 100% factual. It was cir uh, circumstantial evidence, not obvious evidence. And the moment that I had a reason to doubt John was telling the truth to me, I'm the one who busted this whole fucking thing. I know you did. So I'm sorry that you sat there. Apparently you fucking knew too. Uh, Dream told me that you knew too. I don't know why you didn't fucking publish the information on Trill. I have no idea what you were doing. But all I know is as soon as I was made aware of it, I solved the problem. <laughs> oh, I burned the fucking Wait a minute. Well, I want to make this I clear. Said, Keem knew? Because I only found out 12 hours ago. Dream told me he had a conversation with Keem. It might have been the night of. It might have been before that. But apparently yeah. people knew for like the better part of a fucking week. And nobody told us, dude. The old, uh, well, I'm sorry. Is the Where only one who had the balls about this, and then to I just and lied to, to my audience. It. When did that happen? I, I don't know. I, I was just so I, I, I tired of this. Parent. Ever since fucking New Year's, this guy has been at our throats for every little thing. When he went on and said that like we could have contributed or we, we had, there were crucial moments to save a person's life, and that we were spreading misinformation, which at no point he's ever been able to prove that I was spreading misinformation. Uh, I, it's, I'm just so sick and tired of like this guy. Yeah, no, dude, I'm just, fucking my stream, I watched us. the dream stream with John and Call. All right, I asked John. I'm like, hey, like, what do you think of this? Like, what's going on here? Because you know, when I was watched the stream i was like okay this this could be bad i don't know what do you think john john was like no 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 uh, i it, it, i'm gonna respond and then nick said listen dude there's no chance that you're that you totally didn't troll this kid that totally didn't happen he's like no 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 of course not so i'm like okay dude like what am i supposed to do i don't understand i don't dude, get it i said what i said because i, I genuinely believe john's story, story at the time. but but took the other side just to, like preach and just jerk off my audience it didn't happen and there's no way you can prove that so fuck you Okay. All right, all right. I, I think what I, I'm gonna play both ends. All right, what, what, what? I don't. I didn't hear you say this, by the way. What Keem is saying is that I'm genuinely confused on what he's. Oh, right, okay. About. Let me, I'm, let me, let me explain what he said. Let me explain what he said. What Keem is saying, Augie, is that uh, some of you guys, and I don't know this. I'm not accusing you of this. Um, said, yeah, I kind of had a bad feeling all along, and now you're like 100% no, on dude, it. No, dude, that's my entire Twitter timeline and a bunch of losers. Okay, that's you. Well, I, okay. So about hindsight, they're like, oh, well, I really knew the whole time. Uh, I just didn't want to say. I think Aiden really, sent me like a DM really like that. Funny dude, that you knew all along, when all along, what have I been saying? John's story makes sense because the same shit has happened to me before. I've Wait, literally Augie, said that. Augie, you read my document where I said through the veil of hindsight. It's really what easy to just say you knew all along. It's yeah. Yeah. So, dude, it's so funny how everyone's so brave right now. They're so brave. They're like, oh, I knew, I knew, and you guys lied. Well, here, like, in, wow, in fairness, you guys, we, we, like me and Willie, me and Willie didn't have any evidence to contradict yours. We just didn't buy it. 
You know, it's, it, because it's not a really thing was a that's circumstantial not strong. fucking mess. It's because yeah. Dream made multiple missteps when he was retelling it, which allowed John to weasel in there and yeah. make up a bullshit fucking story that was honestly believable, yeah. which is why a lot of fucking people took his side. I'll that's say this, happened. and then I'll get off and let Tommy do his show, but it's like, dude, it's so funny how everyone just has the biggest set of nuts today. And today, today, everyone's <laughs> just like, oh, I knew, I got it, I got it all figured out. I got, really? I, Did look, you look, now? Look, How'd you get to that conclusion? Look, look, look. Oh, I, oh, I'm glad I got you guys as friends. All right, and I promise never to use you like this and and do something yeah. like that. But I Dude, admire. This is anything. And other you know than what? Keem's done the same stuff. Keem's done the same stuff. Yeah. He, I mean, look, we all get tunnel vision when it's somebody we care about, and you look for reasons that they're not guilty. I get that. I'm not. And me and Willie have been treated like shit by John. All right, over the years. So we're. It's a little easy. I don't know. Maybe if John treated me better, I'd have been on your team. I'm not going to sit there and act like I'm above it. All right. But I think there is some legitimate criticism is for like for the next time you got to fucking pull your out self out of the situation i think that and i don't fair. think myself was in the situation i vehemently deny that i, yeah. I think i genuinely believed what i believed. i know you did no, I no, I no 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 doubt no doubt the circumstantial I, I evidence definitely, that was there i, I, I thought I'm the story was extremely plausible yeah I, I still think the story is extremely plausible i just now know it's a lie yeah it's a lie okay, okay. <laughs> i i think if if it turned out that john didn't lie or whatever i still would hold this uh, if i didn't like know for a fact that he confessed to somebody last year i would still believe the story that i believe before and I believe that based off of the information that we and provided. I, and I, believe, I believe that on the a basis of things that Dream had walked back. Thank and you. the fact of the matter is, I was totally wrong about that. I accepted that immediately. Everybody, but I'm not going to sit here and wrong. pretend to you I had doubts. I'm not going to sit here. And you pretend had to you no that doubts. I, I knew all along, <laughs> and I was just protecting my. Uh, that, that's just unfortunately not the case. I will own up to the fact that I just flat out got this one wrong. I'm not going to sit here. This and is pretend like that I was doing this James for Charles for like talking to somebody who told him he was 18. It's, it doesn't make any yeah. sense. Mm. I don't know. Which, uh, I, if you think this is anything other than Keemstar star? crossing a few more names off the list of people he had a falling out with a couple months ago, uh, you're probably mistaken. That's all it is. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna I get. Don't even know if you believe. Congratulations, it. 1K viewers. Thank you, dude. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank What's you, Augie, for sending him over here. I do appreciate it. Thanks you're for having me. You're the man. All right, all right. Let's 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 see. Let's anyway, <laughs> uh, so those guys, those guys that were just talking, they fell for it. Us. <laughs> 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 We like fucking no. knew. <laughs> we we didn't, didn't get trapped by an Australian. <laughs> like, how, just to be how fair. pathetic, by the way. <laughs> we knew this since <laughs> we knew since the beginning. We, we knew this entire knew, man. <laughs> well, hey, look, we had we didn't have much to go on as far as proof. We just didn't buy it, and you can't make a video or go on a like. That's one of the. I was actually going to talk Willie out of making his video because I don't look. If you're going to go after Dream, I don't think you have enough evidence to fucking. To do that, I, I think you can't go on hearsay or gut feelings. I don't think that's right to make a video on that. I think it's okay to talk about a podcast or something like that. Um, but it, yeah, I was literally—I mean, if anybody watched my arcade stream on on, on Tommy C's arcade, everybody channel, saw it. Everybody I, saw I, it. Everybody I, saw I, it. I told him I was like, I want to talk to you. I don't think I would have been able to talk about him because he's a stubborn guinea. But uh, I, 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 down, I generally wanted him to tone it down, downship. But yeah, when, in light of this, yeah, the, um, all. Uh, that's a lot Willie's of money, got a, I guess, a video coming out, and it, 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 it mostly has to do with Pie Man. And, and some of the stuff that I know about Pie Man now, I now know that I couldn't have talked Willie out of this in any capacity. Um, just to sort of paraphrase what you might see in there on Willie's, on Willie's video, the, the apology that John made, this non-apology, um, because John accused this poor kid of suicide baiting, is is in this and he doubles down on his apology it's just fucking bizarre and yeah it, it you, i think with everything that i really think a fine tooth comb everything that john made po until 2020 it, it has to be gone money, over guess, because his biggest snakes is deji and i uh deji and Susie. um Lou and Hanson are. I, I think they even have the right. If there's any fucking bullshit in there, it has to come to light. It has to come to light for the good of the commentary community. And it's and it, you know what? It's not one voice, Keemstar. We we fucking policed ourselves. Everybody said, "Who polices you guys?" We do, and we did it as soon as we found the evidence. And you know what? Everybody's human, and everybody has friends, and nobody wants to see their friends get That's fucking a lot ruined. Of money, I guess, and maybe a just fucking world. maybe we're going to look out for people and have some bias. I think the more important thing is 
Uh, the more important thing is that we get when we do have the evidence, if we're doubling down after that, then you can call us fucking one voice. Then you can tell, call us colluders. Then you can say we're no goddamn good. You know, and that's about it. There you go. Let's uh, let's watch Willie. Should I? Oh, God, I guess I got to do it to the chat. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 slow -mo, yeah sure, sure. That's a lot of money. Sorry, guys. guys slow mo coming it's because uh, I have tons of wackos in my. Um, I think ten seconds is good. Make it easier for the mods. There you yeah, go. Yeah. 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 Poor mods. In fact, the mods can't. And do then that, uh, yeah, so. this is yeah. the second part, the more important part of Willie getting his dick sucked. So Willie's gonna love this. He's already messaging me about it. He's super excited to hear it live. So I'm sure. Here we go. It. Here we go. You know, and uh, look, I am super glad that everybody's like back together and it's to do this. That's is a lot the, of money. I know yes. for the fans, You're it was really painful to watch. I didn't get into a tips or all year or, or bowbacks or anything. But, you know, it's, it's good to watch it. You, know, you all trust each other again and don't think anything's up. It's, it's a relief to me personally and my team. What, what I would ask, though, is, oh, is that does this, does, like, any of the stuff... Flamenco, like, everybody. Another guy I like. That, um, that, like, Dream is alleging, does that, any of that sound like something John would actually do? Yes. Like, it, like, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I feel the same way. <laughs> it's not, and this is, like, with my experience and Willie's experience, you know, I, I remember Willie was calling out Nerd City or some shit, and then John took him aside and said, you're making people feel world. unsafe in the chat or some more shit. To me, to us, this is, like, normal. The most annoying thing about his dream is he will use to discount any criticism from the community. Uh, yes! That's a good point, dude! That's a good point. And, and some of that you gotta rest on us? Sure. I'll, I'll take that, I'll take that hit. Uh, and some of that is, is John, because he has people who care about him, and he didn't care that we were all fucking tearing each other apart. In fact, he happily went along with it until it became impossible. So yeah, you want to give us that ding? We got it wrong, and then we stood by what we believed in, uh, as far as guys like me and, and Nick and Augie and Tister and Bobax. Yeah, you got us. But at the end of the fucking day, I don't know any other com uh, community. Hey, that 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 will, is willing to burn bridges to get the truth out. You don't see it in the mainstream media. You see it with us. This grow. So hey, one of the one of the guys in the uh, what, what did Hanson call the uh, group the uh, vault? Yeah, goon. Squad. The goon squad. Well, guess yeah. what? The goon squad did more. Like you don't see any of these. Like they have like a blue wall of silence in the media. Not us. Not us. And I got to be honest with you. If Nick had went to him initially and said, before this thing got out of control, <coughs> look, uh, I, I got evidence. Can you tell me, and I'll stay out of it when it goes public, tell me the truth. Did you lie to me? And from what I understand, that happened. If Nick would have kept that secret and said, I didn't know, I would have been fine with that. Because that's a friendship. You can't sit there and do this and screw everybody and have that stupid attitude like there's IRL friends and there's online friends and I can complete be I could be a psychopath to my online friends. No, I don't go for that shit. I agree with tips are 100 percent You know. So if he'd have gave him that, I would have forgave Nick on that. But John continued to lie to him and cornered Nick even more. Let me speak. So yeah, thanks, Pinkington. Tommy never changed. This is why you get all my donos. John Swan, CTFO. What is that one? I'm, I'm such a boomer. CTFO. What's that? I, I think it's GTFO. Get the fuck out. I, I, get the fuck CTFO, out. I have no idea. Oh, CTS. Cunt the fuck out? I don't fucking know. <laughs> this is, all right, let's listen to the rest of this. <laughs> I, I know, I know I this really. specific person. I know this specific <laughs> yes. person. I've become good friends with them. Does that, does that sound great, like man. I'm John would say that in conversation? By the way, it's an emotional argument. It's not an argument. John Spot needs to turn over his main channel to you guys, to the group podcast channel. <laughs> Dude, yes. all that is is him fucking trolling you, Harley. That's all it is. Swim. It's not him doing yeah. some big impersonation. He's just fucking around. He's not being evil in the conversation with Harley. He's just fucking with them. So do you think uh, John Swan has an alt account called Nicholas Diorio with Gus Spring as the idol? No, I don't think it's... I think it sounds like somebody from one of the old group chats, like another guy from back then, just fucking around with John. Uh, yeah, goofing off. It's just a little... Like, I don't think it's like this big thing. I just think it's like they were goofing around. And then when I want to point out that Lieutenant Cobra is in this chat listening to this shit, and he was more than likely the Diorio account. The curious case of Lieutenant Cobra, the guy that pulled I'm a child card after he called my kid a fucking Nazi and wouldn't own up to it after <laughs> I threw a fit. Again, 
I wish nothing but lice and diabetes on you and yours, Lieutenant Cobra. Continue to be the shitbag that you always were. I, again, I look forward to heroin needles in your arm in the coming future, and I'll report it right here on Shot for the Point. There you go, asshole. Dream message, John. He was like, oh, shit. Let's just say no. The only either. person who would probably goof around in this context would be, like, Cobra. Cobra would be the other person. <laughs> Because they were like, <laughs> Cobra? Yeah, here. dude, I wouldn't have been surprised if it was Cobra, but obviously Cobra's saying it's not him, so it's probably not. It's not yeah, true. Yeah, here's the thing, Willie, like, uh, like yeah. something there's no hold. Silence! From Lieutenant Lying Sack of Shit! Silence! He's in the call, folks! It's in John's story. I don't think. All right. Well, there's one big hole in. I John's mean, it's story. just uh, just like. Um, What's the hole in John's story? You know, you know, you know, you know. What we could have done. We could. I, I. Next time something like this happens, I'm just gonna throw a few hundred bucks Lieutenant Cobra's way. He'll snitch. He's done it before. Let me speak. <coughs> what did What did Nick, Nick have to pay him for? Last time, on uh, was it Just Destiny thing? Oh, when he did a video on Keemstar. That's yeah, right. I think, I think it was. Yeah. 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 Well, Lieutenant Cobra rolled quick. And if I would have got a sniff, I'd have thrown money his way. Sure. That's what Lieutenant Cobra is. Always won the curious case of Tommy C. Oh, yeah. Here's the curious case that you had to go to fucking Tipster and lie to him to get a fucking video out on me. Fuck you. I'm the guy that That's said I wish funny, your I fucking guess. family That's fucking dies horrible. in a horrible car wreck. And guess who has more credibility than you? Fuck you, you little shit. Thank you. Brought to you by Mack Trucks. There you go. All right. So, John says, has everybody seen John's apology? Um, as a commentator, my credibility is important to me. <laughs> this just might be funny. Unfortunately, I let you all down. There is no excuse That's for what I did. Money, I, I take full responsibility you, until you're cornered. John Swan. Now he's John Kong. <laughs> Thank you. I wish I could have made a video. I'm currently traveling. I'm not in a position to do, do so. I don't think you'd have made a video. They dropped the doc. I told, I said, everybody, I, I was surprised you actually respond to it in any capacity. The Google doc was, and we're going to go over that next. The most psychotic thing that he's done. I was messing around on Discord about a year back with a friend of mine, 6K subs. I thought nothing of it. And you mad. That's all you had to say, Dream. Dream was not popular coming out That's of the fucking of money, cheating guess, scandal. For a person of color or John Swan gave his detractors a massive W. Oh, yeah. I, I don't even, like, I guess. I mean, I'm not really one of his detractors. I just didn't think the fuck the thing was bullshit. I thought everything else he'd done with Susie Lou and Hanson was great. You know, I think he'd helped Nick a lot uh, as far as exposure. But I, I now, I, I'll be perfectly honest with you. And this has been going on for, for a long time. Without getting into details, I don't think John has been a very good friend to Nick. And I think John owes as much, if not more, to Nick as Nick owes to John. Speak. I don't think he's been a very good friend to him, and he deserved this. Lieutenant Cobra is trans now. I can't criticize him. You know, that's a good move. That's a good move. Um, I almost said something fucking that would have put me in jail. Uh, <laughs> to, to that. Dreams read a post. Uh, K. Lazer was completely in shock. I panicked uh, again, uh, and I made a threat. I don't even believe that anymore. I, I, that's what I thought it was initially done. I panicked. I, I think what happened was I thought he, I think John saw an opportunity and he thought he could build that bridge based on the that's pillar of lies. That's a lot of money, I guess, for a person of color. Worst or? Among Us tournament. <laughs> 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 yeah, ever. Uh, but I understand that lying about someone is a big skill is indefensible. Uh, time after time, uh, time, time after time, I messed up. I should have just said it was me all along, but I didn't. I dug myself a deeper and deeper hole. There's more, you know, I can't even go into what the fuck I know. But you all will find out, I think, in the coming days. It's just none, of, I don't buy any of this shit. Let me speak! None of it. CTF, cunt the fuck off. Well, who would have thought that? Who says cunt the fuck off, Pinkington? But thank you so much. Someone who doesn't speak English very well. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off with more venom, he said. All right, that's his argument. And these are the guys. Good friends, right here. Nick, Augie, Tipster, Bobax, Optimus. I'm an optimist for it. That guy's all right. Nobody can, take okay. a, nobody can take a joke better than he can. He's a good guy. Pfft. At least my experience, my dealings with him, he's just a fucking good guy. Except when he That's uploaded that money, video of me sideways and douchebag. Um, so when you can you expect an apology for Keem for lying to me about after I exposed the evidence that his buddy... I don't um, Spectre, Well, I don't know. Spectre, you have to take that up with Keemstar. Spectre, I, nobody gives a fuck. Go talk to Keem about <laughs> it. Talk to Keem. Yeah. Like, I don't I have no idea. 
I've, uh, here's uh, some, some gamer from Mars. John Swan can't be guilty. He was picking up boulders with his daughter when it all went down. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, look who got involved. That's a lot of money, I guess, for a person to call. John going to have to sell his house. Hey, John, you know, I, I think that's a good point, um, Biggie. I think what John needs to do is, uh, I, I think he needs to quit. Um, I'm not telling him to quit. I just think it would be a good idea to concentrate on school. Uh, full-time student get the shit out of here four years you might be able to come back and yeah i was a stupid kid back then new image new new thing and new whatever maybe it's not even the commentary community he wants to be a youtuber more than everything and <laughs> he's willing to do anything to do it <laughs> you know um yeah That's a lot of money, could john come back yeah but not not as long as this community exists in, in, in this now the fact that he spent time to make the Google Doc defend is so over the top. Swan should have just owned up. Ridiculously dramatic. Yeah, that's why I can't take this shit seriously. You know, you know, like, like, you know, I, I just feel like, feel like John doesn't appreciate like what other people have done for his career, and I, I do. I know Nick does. I know Augie does. I know, I know, I know. Like, like we're in that group that you know. I, I I can yeah the, the, we don't think we could done, done this by ourselves. I couldn't have done this without Keemstar. There's a, a million money, people I, I owe so much to. Right? Imagine Minecraft being your downfall. <laughs> Some tells me it's been a downfall for a few people over the years. So Noodles gets involved. Hey man, heard you're really good impersonating YouTubers, saying the N word, lying, deflecting, manipulating, and self imploding Eric here. Oh by the way, if you're so offended by my jokes, please take me to court. I can't wait to laugh at your face in front of the judge. Um. Is he right? John threatened to sue him? Def Noodles? Def I don't know. I don't know if he did, but That's I hope he does. Money, this guy is getting fucking annoying. Color or... Yeah. I'd be so Tommy, when are you gonna no uh, gonna dip in the John Pond? <laughs> when, when I get it, when do I get to take a dip? Uh, hopefully never. I hope that John's lawsuit is so powerful that you become Dennis becomes as poor as Death Noodles was when he came yeah, from. That's another that thing that with Death Noodles. I could totally see you. Like, 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 hey, 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 mister, I could see you 100% in John's position because I don't think you're any better than John. You're just a YouTuber, as we say here on Chat from the Point. And, you know, you're sitting there fucking laughing at him now. This could very easily be you. You, you go back and we could be looking at your Augie interview and looking at how many fucking falsehoods you've told. I mean, you're a fucking guy that told told people that you showed the United States with nothing but the shirt in your back. Uh, why your dad was an executive for Warner Brothers, which nobody believes. You have dual citizenship, jack fuck. Why it's you embrace, money, why, guess, why you cultivate a fucking world. audience of people that hate, hate our country. And, 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 and are, are just, to, and, and really cultivate cancel culture as well. So yeah, deaf noodles. Don't fucking, don't get too cocky. Cause this could be you like that. It's all a joke, Dan. What, what, what do you mean? This is cord wit. I think I had a message for him too. One, um, I just wanted to quickly address the entire situation in more casual format such as this, addressing what's going to be happening with the video and what my thoughts are on John currently. Um, for starters, I just want to make a disclaimer that, that that I won't be completely turning on John from this. I understand that a lot of people... I, I, I've had to do that before too. I respect that will be and a lot of people have their reasons to um personally he's been such a great friend to me and he has done so much for me that i can't po watch you back possibly turn around and um shout at him for it uh however i will be trying to consolidate what with him speak? and use this as more of a thanks so much terry Ed. to address this kind of situation in future because i do feel like he messed up terry. extremely here and f there is no defense for such a huge and publicized lie like this um, in regards to the video itself, I've thought long and hard about this because uh, John's effort in the video uh, is unfathomably high. Uh, I didn't want to just scrap the video because of the work that I put in as well. So what I'm thinking of doing That's is a lot of money, essentially I guess, taking John's research color. and almost John's script as well Thank you. and using that um, myself. Scrap the video, Cordwood. There's no... Scrap it. Dream one. Give him this fucking W. Yeah, I, I look, I, I could see, you know, Dream's fucking laughing all the way. But I could see him in this fucking position. I've been doing this too long and seen too many situations like that. The one guy's laughing next week. The next week he's in the same spot. 
I literally watched it happen in Tonka and then fucking Ian Miles Chong like the next week. Pescator Twiz Fizz, now John Swan is next to leave. I guess. Well, Twiz Fizz wasn't even in that much. We let her in and she fucking wanted to play feminist with us all, apparently. And, oh, you never let the girls in the boys club. Welcome to the boys club. You guys are a bunch of misogynists. Fuck off, Twiz Fizz. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. fucking good. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So, um, no, Cord, wait, you're nuts. Drop it. He won. You can't do it now. I'm going to give you the lecture <laughs> that I, I was going to give Willie. Uh, downshift. Because here's the thing. There's so, this is your experience. There's, it doesn't matter what you do. You're going against the biggest guy that just is coming off a W. Even if your fucking video is perfect, you're going to get just kicked in the head over it. Move on. For your own sake. Not, not just because I'm saying it. For your own sake. From fighting in Iraq to handling snotty kids. You have a tremendous patience. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Nobody believes me when I say I'm snotty until after the fact. <coughs> Def Noodles never could have saw this coming. Confessing and creating a fake account on Minecraft. Uh, YouTuber Dream is using and send inappropriate messages in Dream's fans. Dream says he was severely disappointed in John Swan. I guess uh, using me as a scapegoat didn't work. That's a lot of money, I guess, uh, for a person of color. Yeah. I don't know how. Boy, Def Noodles making it about himself. Two likes are John, the, the two dislikes are John and his manager. <laughs> uh, Dream spoke out. I knew the situation. Uh, I knew about the evidence about a week ago. I offered my, uh, I offered in private for him to confess to me and apologize and delete tweets. And I wouldn't criticize him public for, uh, publicly for it. <coughs> Holy fuck. And I know fucking Nick had been begging him to come clean on top of that. I don't think John ever thought this was going to come out. He just figured, you know, Nick would be too embarrassed to say he's wrong. And some people do that. Some people do that, man. I, I listened to Jason Begay, and he's um, a former Scientologist. And they asked him, he's one of these guys that came clean about Scientology. They asked him, why do people keep doing this? Why do they do it when they know it's bullshit? And it's just like embarrassment. You know, you give millions of dollars to this organization and you've said all That's these things money, and you've, I guess, you've made all these enemies color. and said horrible things about other religions and other people and called everybody a bigot. Sometimes it's just better to go along with it. And I think that's what John was counting. My personal opinion, that's what John was counting on. Thank you, Mike the Bike. Um, Susie Lou to Chris Hansen. Uh, we should sit down sometime. Sure. Feel free to DM. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ha, 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 ha. Well, as much as I can't stand those two douches, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I can, yeah, sure. I want to fuck you hard. <laughs> yes, Chris, you, you did. This is a, a tweet from a couple days ago. Just a reminder: I am uncancelable. Good night, everybody. John Swan. I wonder what happened to his Twitter account. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, so you might want to screenshot this. I'll give you guys a second. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nick. Last night, as many of you know, I released a thread titled John Swan Lied to Dream. As many of you were rightly confused for questioning my subsequent replies. It didn't contain any evidence to the claims I was making. Uh, I'm sure those same people were equally as confused that John came forward shortly after the statement of his own admitting it was all true and he'd been lying the entire time. I figured it'd be a good time to sort out and explain what happened. Uh, I was approached by uh, Turkey Tom, who presented me a screenshot of Groove Clap, an extremely credible YouTuber, talking about John had confessed last year to trolling Harley TBS with Lieutenant Cobra. Just hanging out with Lieutenant Cobra as we get you. Impersonating Dream Cobra and not expecting Dream to ever found out about it. When I was approached with this information, I began asking who else knew. It became pretty evident that the only reason the, quote, evidence made its way to me in the first place because it was the person who made the claim that I didn't plan on releasing the evidence publicly. And they think, I just assume I'd be releasing it. Without, and John's apology, he can stick it up his ass. Look at this. No, I'm not going to ask you one more time. Did Cobra fuck with Harley on the story and he's 12 years old? I promise you, I will not speak. That's a lot of money, I guess. And I got to be honest with you, if color. Nick would have honored the first time he went to them, because there's more than one time, where John, I think I could have understand him keeping this a secret because you can't really go to somebody and say, I won't say anything and then say something. 
But I think there is an exception to that rule. I think there's an exception when it becomes absolutely obvious and you have caused so much damage on top of this lives. Then you have forfeited your friendship right and now you've assumed the position to be set up. And make no bones about it. Nick set him up. I actually disagree with that. Again, I, I, I don't want to hop in and interrupt your stream. Yeah. Uh, I think that once it happened and once he told me the truth, it had to come out. And that's based solely off the fact that I have produced a video on my YouTube channel defending him. Mm -hmm. Explaining a, a situation money, guess, that couldn't possibly be true. Right. I was participating in the spread of misinformation. And therefore, at that point, regardless of friendship, regardless my credibility okay. and me doing the right thing means more to me than John. Okay. And his channel. So well, at that point, it, the that first time, no I'm, 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 I'm really trying to cut. I'm, I'm trying to cut you a break here. You know, I'm just saying, like, if you said that, if you say that to somebody, I can keep it secret. I think you should honor it. But I do think there comes no, a time. No, I don't think I should honor it. I disagree. I think I, I, I would be willing to take whatever comes with that. I have a moral qualm about about that. I try to be as like upstanding as I can. I feel like there's a lot of like corruption that comes around this entire community. A oh, lot sure. of people do shady shit behind the scenes. I'm not going to sit here and trash Lieutenant Cobra for defending his friend, but simultaneously, I'm not going to sit here and let my friends do fucked up shit. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would, I, we always had a thing that we always said in this community, and I know John said it a million times too, is that when we fuck up in this community, we hold each other accountable for it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I thought we did. So when people call us a circle jerk community, the it's okay if we do oh, it community, say that now. I always thought that was bullshit until like this moment. Oh when John asked me to take down my tweet. And I realized it was a load of bullshit. And it was like, I didn't sign up for this. I, I was under the assumption that when me and, uh, me and Willie argue on Twitter, that we can like go away from it and be friends the next day. I was under the assumption that when I argue with um, mm -hmm. like Augie about it, Mm -hmm. uh the, like the, the like the right thing needs to happen when i read P tom's document on pyro cynical on stream i couldn't sit there and tell everybody that the document was good mm -hmm. i had to sit and i know it's yeah, a lot it of my talking points and i know i probably made it a lot harder on turkey tom sure. but that's the right thing to do no, yeah. so unfortunately i don't value my friendships over the truth and i don't value my friendships over integrity and that's uh, i think it depends on the thing if you got if it's some i'm sorry I, I disagree if you got into it with some broad lied to me initially and then came back to me and said look i'm just like look i'll just do the same thing i did with kraut and i'll Dude, fucking if it was just that like if it was like the very beginning with the reddit post Maybe that's small enough that you can move past it. Yeah, I, I, I can maybe concede totally, there. Totally. But when this guy has lied, yes, uh, in yeah. like Twitter threads, smearing somebody, uh, it, he's like had to be talked down to making the doc. Apparently, he had to be talked down to making the document harder on Dream. I, I don't know how valid that is, but that's just what I've been told. Uh, I, I mean, he's written an, a 13-page Google document, recorded an audio book, and then made a video where he psychotic. puts the evidence on the screen for a story he lied about. There are real credibility issues that come with that dude. Let's like the reason that he's like saying that his career is over and shit like that is because it just might be. Uh, because there's like a real issue that comes from John Swan <coughs> uh, lying through his teeth, such a public platform about something so insignificant. Mm -hmm. This guy got a parking ticket and tried to take down a government to try to get past it. Like he yeah. tried to assassinate a prime minister to, like, to settle his parking ticket. Yeah. It's like the most insane thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I think people have the right to question things he said. Okay. Um, well, I was talking about the, me, the say, uh, I, I, yeah. I was just talking, I don't, I don't want people, I, I think if you kept it quiet that's initially money, when it was guess, small before it started hurting color. people, I think that's the right that I think that might be the right thing to do. But I don't think it's the right thing to do when it's hurting so many people. And I think you ended up doing the right thing. That's all I'm saying. I feel so sorry yeah. for everyone. I, I'll, I'll, I'll read some of these at the end. Sorry, I can't get to, get to them all, but I will. Oh, and lastly, I just want to publicly say on your platform, I'm sorry to the news team uh, that we had arguments about this. Um, like John sat idly by where, I mean, me and you at that were pretty at it pretty yeah, vocally behind pretty the much. scenes. I think we, we got into a few streams. I, we were more I, I think the news team was more worried about you. We, we didn't understand the veracity, knowing some behind the scenes stuff and the way you've been treated by John. We didn't understand it. Well, I hope that those qualms have been uh, <laughs> like better understood now following <laughs> last night. Uh, but uh, also, like, he sat by while me and Willie were having like a huge public God, argument and stuff like that. Most. I think I wrote Willie, like, uh, maybe you should learn how to tie knots better before you hang yourself or something like that. I'm like, I'm like, oh. God. publicly on my main account oh my like God. yeah like we were really getting into it because like i really believed what was coming out of my mouth so it, yeah. it just it made me insane that like you couldn't and i, I was totally wrong about that so it's just like whatever um, I'm I, it's crazy up. to me that somebody who i would like get into calls with we haven't been as close since we had a falling out over credit 
ability yeah. in January. Uh, yeah, it's weird. Um, yeah. But like, we haven't been as close. But this was somebody who I was fairly close with for a really long time. And the fact that he would just like openly lie to me the way he did was like really fucking weird. But again, I don't have to hinge it on like just me knowing somebody. I, I think the circumstantial evidence made it a very plausible situation. That's why I believe the things that I did. And I just own the fact that I was wrong about it. All right, that's pretty much all, all I right, have to man. say. All right, man. Sorry about that. Don't, don't worry about, about anything. I'm fucking over it. Yeah. It got straightened out. Yeah. Yeah, and I hope my news team heard that. Good answer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's because, like, it, like it, that's the thing. It went in. You know, Nick fucking believes in something. He's going to see it through. And, and I think he got a little blindsided. And then just look at the situation and do it again. It's been rectified. That I don't think dumping on uh, on him is a good thing. Uh, Erica, uh, with a K. Uh, Nick, you're a good person. Tommy C. smelled sus since John smelled... Uh, since John smelled... I, it was before that. <laughs> smelled briefly. It was way before that. You, you want to go back to some 2008 streams and some of the things I said about John back then. But, you know, when John started kicking That's it off and he was working money, with I Nick and helping Nick, I, you know, I was like, well, look, I'll, I'm not going to take anything back, but I'm not going to shit on some guy's success. I've never, like, so many people have passed me and moved on and, and done big things, even become multimillionaires um, when, when, when they were just, you know, getting rolling. Um, I pride myself in that I never turn into these jealous kids and generally appreciate their success and i felt the same thing with john and, and, and nick and, and everybody else that's come through here um but I, I don't i don't know if john's one like me and nick and the rest of the guys here i don't i don't think he's that kind of although yes we know john swan's twitter's gone might be a good Wait, idea yeah, tommy john's twitter is gone <laughs> <laughs> sure is there first <laughs> sure is so what else what else do we have um so you got the opportunities here I don't think we even need to go over this anymore. Did John lie? Absolutely. Was John lied massive for stupid petty drama insurmountably? Uh, do you hate John? No. Uh, do you think he'll be friends? Why do you care? That's way none of your biz. Uh, do you think John is a bad person? Who knows? Uh, you showed no proof. Four pages. <laughs> How could we believe you? John is welcome to call me a liar. He won't. And I wouldn't advise it either. This has been a Nick. I'm not fucking uh, proofreading this. Welcome to the cum zone. So I think, yeah, I think it really, I think Nick's explanation. And I think we could laugh at um, some of John's stuff. Like just going back and looking at this. <laughs> fucking, fucking pages, this is amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is like absolutely fucking amazing. I mean, look at this shit. It's hilarious. This, like, like when I, as I scroll through, I, this is kind of scary. It's always over hilarious. a fucking line. This. You like Always this over a fucking line. Holy yeah. shit. And then, like, God, what is he willing to do? This is John always gave me that what mainstream me? media vibe. Because in mainstream media, people would fucking blue coat of silence type thing. John Swan's manager. I tried to warn him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're fired. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Wait. Yeah. Uh, Keep just said, uh, Dream is trying to ruin my, to ruin my credibility. <laughs> Dream just said that. Dream, yeah. Uh, Kim, Kim said that in the chat. Yeah, I yeah, know. He did. He did say that. Yo, he really went after Dream. There's no doubt about it. Dream has every right to be uh, well, furious. Can you scroll down to the Q and A portion? I really want to. Yeah, see well, let's look at that. Oh, this might questions. be funny. Sweet love. What do you think of John's end goal was? Was it to ride the backs of the commentary community, going for him to try to make Dream look bad? I think John had a long term plan to ride the backs off of everything and everything, and like he was really kind of. You know, not that he was accusing. Well, we'll find out. Uh, I think we have an I am Alex situation here in the sense that we're we're, we're willing to piggyback, and uh, you know, to some to some extent, yeah. You know, Kim kind of sniffed that out. I feel I felt like that several years ago. I remember how vehement he was during the when when Keemstar got in the NCO chat and that whole thing blew up with Zoom and things of that nature, and just like how he wouldn't let go that you know what those guys in the NCO were doing was the wrong thing. And then I'd watch Tro. On the other hand, just taking all the fucking hits for that. It was my fault. It was my fault. It was my fault. I shouldn't have done it. I should have known I was warned. You know, Tro, because Tro, Tro's not a psychopath. But, you know, double. I remember this fucking Bobby insignificant Spade. argument when he was doing really well. Let's never forget uh, Dennis Fatosa's AKA Deaf Noodles, is still the most putrid, pathetic fraud on YouTube. Yeah, and, and you know what? I have a feeling, reality, we will be sitting right here, right now. Well, not right now. In, in, in some time, in a bit, 
uh, doing something similar on him. And if you want to be there to ha watch it happen live on top of the point, fucking, I never say this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, you'll be notified right the fucking way, and we'll get right into it. Def Noodles is in, no like, yo, dance in the end zone, you, you want, Def. Spike the fucking football, but you still got to kick off, and the other team gets to receive. All right? I mean, so... This could just as easily be you. This doesn't this doesn't change. And you're just as big a liar as he is. So, whatever. My yeah. favorite part about that rant is it began with, and we're going to find out right now. No. Eventually, no. no. Maybe. Soon. We will see. Deaf Noodles will fall. I'm <laughs> Write it down. Might not be this year. Might not be next. Deaf Noodles will botch something. Not right now, though. Especially right since he's hanging around with Pescator. That is oh, that's always good. the poison that he cannot even understand and wouldn't bother to research. He will be on this show and we will be laughing at his ass. I promise you. Because he is not a good guy either. Um, and you know, it's, it's the same thing with Susie Lou. All you're all spiking the football. You guys already took L's. <laughs> Susie Lou, Chris Hansen. You know, Deji probably comes out of this the best. Oh God! You imagine Deji pulling the. I, I could totally see Deji pulling the race card. Yeah, over the N word. Holy shit! Well, yeah. he said the N word to our dreams, friend, and I think he made the video on me uh, because he's racist. <laughs> Just like my neighbors. God, my neighbors are racist, and the guy that killed racist. my dog, and whatever. Oh, you had the best part. I've been kind of like proofreading this this word pad for the questions, yeah. And all the responses just boil down to like circular, like nothing. Like yeah, it no. just it's it really like okay. It doesn't get to the bottom of anything. Question: How did you know it was on Discord right away when I didn't mention it in our primary communication on Twitter? Answer: Pretty much every single time. <laughs> <laughs> every single time I was in Discord, apart from reaching out to people as person. Or if, if the person in question doesn't use Discord much, I had 6K cut subs at the time and the situation occurring over a year ago. And from what I can remember, I barely used Twitter at all. Oh, God, I know that's bullshit. You've been following me <laughs> since 2018. That's a stone fucking lie. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's stone lie. He's on Twitter all the fucking time. He was in those chat groups all the time. That's a stone fucking life maybe it, during february 2020 and, you know he downshifted a bit on twitter you know but i this guy I, I this guy he's known for not being able to fucking sleep and keeping in bizarro hours because when you're an australian youtuber it's, it's kind of tough oh this is this is the best part okay ready you're gonna okay. go ahead and read the answer Okay. How had we called on Discord just before if you didn't have access? Well, I think Dream's memory is failing him here. <laughs> 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 I only yeah, called was ahead, November 19th, 2019. The date of the situation occurring in February 8th, 2020, over three months later. To be honest, I don't blame him for not remembering everything with 100% accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been able to remember everything either. It shows how absolutely inconsequential this was to both of us at the time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> God. Fucking moron. Want to do it again? Why did they use an alt Discord to troll you when they had access to your Discord as well? The kid was using my Discord. <laughs> <laughs> the kid who's using my account to troll, uh, created a fake dream account to mess with Harley, Lieutenant Cobra. <laughs> the DMs for my account uh, gloat about being in a call with Dream. The alt account is perfectly understandable. I'm not sure what the point is. Let's see, where, why did they use an alt account to troll you when you had access to your Discord as well? Like, that's a completely reasonable question. So... Your whole story is that, you know, the kid took my account, like, so, and that's, that, that's something that should have been brought up. Was he signing account? out of your account, signing back into your account, which I don't think you can do on Discord unless you have some kind of, like, password saver, um, and and switching, you know, because that's kind of what he led us to believe. What he did, uh, in fairness, he did say friends. I guess none of that really matters now. 
Um, no, none of this matters at all. None of this really matters now. <laughs> this is the best. Oh part. yes, this is the. Oh yes, go, yes, go. This is, this, I love this one. <laughs> Why did they message multiple people, multiple things that made it seem like you? <laughs> You're asking me why the kid did it. I have no idea. I can't read his mind. <laughs> However, I only know that there are three people the kid messaged using my account. Lieutenant Cobra, Harley, and one other person. Harley was That's kind of, you really had to put some fucking or thought into this. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to breathe with the gas lighting in this dock. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the gas chamber. <laughs> Jesus. Woo. <laughs> Harley was the only person who responded. After I got back to my account, I unsent the message to the unnamed party to clean up the mess the kid the kid made. <laughs> I had barely talked to this person, and it would have been way too complicated to explain. <laughs> Isn't that what this fucking doc is for? <laughs> who writes a foreign place Google Doc and say this is way too complicated to explain? I I oh. lit like, like nothing debunks anything. I no, initially thought I left a message uh, to Cobra and sent, looking back uh, recently, shows no evidence. That, that's always a red flag. Looking back recently shows no evidence of it, so I must have unsent that one as well. Oh, perfect. In other words, you can't prove it. Yeah. That's <laughs> always a good sign. Somebody's full of shit. Prove it. To be honest, I can't remember. This was over a year ago. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You um, go you now. You go into some detail. At, at one point, he goes, "It's too much detail." He goes into detail, and then he says, "I can't remember." <laughs> Selectively mem memorizing. Let's try this. Cool. <clears throat> Here we go. You want, to, you want to keep going? Sure. Why did you say that they had your YouTube as well? This is clearly a typo. <laughs> <laughs> I meant, back I that, meant to say Discord. The whole conversation pertains to Discord. All right, maybe maybe that might be might be true. Who knows? That's the only statement that yeah, actually so the only one so far is definitely true. Document, yeah. That might be true. Um, oh, good. Yeah. Why did you say that you couldn't get in? Uh, honestly, I can't recall, but I do have a possible <laughs> explanation. So you can't recall, but I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> listen, listen to the wording here with liars in your own life, because this is textbook shit right here. I can't recall, but this is what I'm going to tell you. Uh, and it's something only my Australian friends can relate to. Uh, many areas in Australia have poor mobile reception, especially while traveling. I used to live in one of these areas. Oh, I remember this. Like, he was able to talk on fucking Twitter, but not did, said he couldn't get Discord. Yeah, that was fucking bizarre. That's one of the things I pointed out on our finely aged wine stream we did on this. <coughs> Thinking this was probably bullshit. I used to live in one of those areas. The apps like Twitter do not need a constant stable connection in order to connect to DMs and scroll. The website Discord does. Is that true? I know, I know it's true with Twitter. I'm not, I'm not so sure with Discord. I think you might be right, though. Which one was it? Uh, he's saying that Twitter doesn't need constant fucking connection like Discord does on, on a, a mobile app. Uh, yeah, you'll, yeah. you'll keep connecting. That's a lot of money, uh, I guess. For if you do not have a constant connection, Discord will simply keep uh, looping the connection. I think he's right. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, 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 that's, that's true. true. Thanks I so much, Dan. I had that Anne. problem with my Wi-Fi, yeah. Um, at the top of the screen, it won't refresh any messages. All well, Aussie, Aussies can back me up on this, I'm sure. Yeah, I think I think you're right on that. But, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, so throw your throw more friends in the fire. <coughs> the rest aren't questions, but statements. I would like to refute regardless. Not, that is the, no, all right. Refute the Discord thing yeah. is the only thing he possibly could possibly refute here. Everything else is I don't recall. Here's my oh god. Yeah. No, this is good. So Dream says uh, on Twitter. It was also multiple people that messaged me, not just one, and nothing you said refuted that. When I confronted the kid in question, he told me the only message one person from the Dream account, <laughs> that being Harley. I didn't see any evidence of engaging with others uh, on my account than the ones I had already mentioned. So I would love to... Oh, yeah, fuck all you guys that said that... I fucking believed Harley, balls to bones. And a lot of you guys fucking... You guys should apologize. Some of you apologize to Harley. I just thought of that. Uh, I did not see any evidence engaging with others on my account other than the ones I'd already mentioned. So I would love to know who the other people are that he is referring to. Dream did say to me in private that he couldn't remember, and that's perfectly understandable. But this was over a year ago. We both forgot things. 
<laughs> wow. It's so crazy how he's like trying to remember and figure it, out what the not, kid like, did. I, I love so how he's passing the gaslighting. His I refuted this. I, it's an explanation, and it's reasonably plausible. That's it. That's not refuting. Giving a plausible explanation is not proof. Having a good public image of being intelligent and well-spoken and good grammar is not proof of being a good guy. I know. Are you sure? I, know. I heard Hitler was a really good speaker. <laughs> um, well, he did some good things. <laughs> oh. Like speak. <laughs> exactly. He was good at it. Yeah. Uh, I would have uh, I would have responded to you had you DM'd me. Dream has brought this situation to the public over a year ago out of nowhere. I certainly am not going to message <laughs> him know. if he wasn't going to give me the same courtesy. I mean, if this bothered him so much, I have no doubt in my mind that this part's true, that Dream is trying to get ahead of this because he heard about the Corbett video. Because I think Dream is a paranoid Yeah, maniac. but if you had that information before, Oh, yeah, like yeah, that, but that does explain things. But I, I don't know. Like, look, Dream did this shit, too. He double, tripled, quadrupled, and got a doctor involved in this fucking video game cheating. So he's yeah. not very credible with me, either. But just because somebody's not credible on one issue doesn't mean they're lying on something else. It's too... I, I can separate the two. And everything Dream said made more sense to me at the time. <coughs> Much more sense. I mean, it, it, it really always came down to this to me. Did John fuck around with some other kid to Harley? Harley looks like somebody you might goof on. Um, even Willie Mac said, that's what they were doing back in the NCO. They're just kind of picking on commentators and having a good time with them, having a little fun with them. All right, that's why it seemed like plausible to him. Is that more, less plausible than I logged into this computer and then this happened and then, uh, you know, my, my internet wasn't good in this area. Uh, and it's just, it becomes, and then they start talking about, you know, yup, and uh, these are things I would say, these things I wouldn't say. And then there's, there's Flamenco's arguments, this is something John Swan wouldn't do. That's not really an argument either. This, there was too much of that for me to then just sit there and come to the conclusion, yeah, he's fucking with that kid. Like, it was just so, to me, it was just very simple. And I, if, if you also, I also initially didn't buy Dream's bullshit based on his credibility in the video game cheating scandal. It really wasn't until Dream came out in public and kind of poked holes in it with his 300k, uh, poked holes in it with his 300k stream on Twitch. That's when I was like, this shit sounds more plausible to me. You know, whatever. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Dream Reddit. Uh, giving my main Twitter to vouch where he would, uh, from his main Twitter and vouch, let's see, uh, vouch that it was me and say that we were amazing friends on the link and documentary to prove it. This simply never happened. The kid never had access to my Twitter. In fact, this is one allegation. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. I fucked that. I, yeah, I fucking fucked that up. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's oh, just so it's, weird. I'm done like, with this shit. Every time I hear the kid, it's just so funny to me. I'll give I'll give John this. He is very creative. Yeah. Oh, he's a talented guy. He I is. said the kid for really clarification creative. before we move well, on. Well, I, I never, never stated, stated the, kid the kid was twelve. I said, I said he used twelve year old humor. Twelve year old humor. I don't know the I kid's age. Know the kid so age. you he logged into a random stranger's age. He didn't know how old he was. <laughs> and that's another thing. Like this kid just knew everybody in the commentary community, and I. That's one of the. That's one of the biggest reasons I believe it. John initially explained it as this guy was kind of ignorant to what was going on on YouTube, and I showed him my stuff. As Vault pointed out, the probably one of the, 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 the most logical things I heard during this whole thing, Vault pointed me out one morning, and he said, why didn't he show him his phone? And I go, I go, Vault, yeah. if we say that, he's just going to say he forgot his phone that day. Why did he show? Because every time that I've shown my contacts off, every single time that I've bragged, or, or and I, look, I'm a human, I, 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 I like, you know, uh, you know, I went to my daughter one time. Look, I'm talking to Sky Does fucking Minecraft. Look, you know, and I'll show my phone. Like, why? Log into Discord? It just never, it just never jived. Right out the gate. Uh, I said he used 12 year old Homer, but I don't know the kid's age. It could be 13, 14, for all I know. I believe I said around 12 to a dream in private. The assumption is the kid was 12 makes up a lot of dreams' response. It's so important to keep this in mind going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, the kid is very autistic. He is like stupid. John's autistic. autistic. <laughs> uh, John's autistic, God. Lieutenant Cobra. A true savant. 
All right. Oh my God. I don't know. I, I think we beat this to death. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take a few calls. I, I think every time an Australian loses employment, we get a little bit happier around here. So today's a good day. <laughs> today's a very good day. Well, my advice for John is uh, quit YouTube. Go back to your parents' house because you're not going to be able to afford your apartment now. And... Uh, Concentrate on school. I, I'm, I'm saying this is a fucking adult. I'm not like, yeah, this is, this, this is, these are serious consequences. So, um, yeah, I, I think he needs to, 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 to bag this shit. And, uh, I'm not going to become a better person. You know, if you're a better person, go back to school, get your shit together. Obviously, you know, um, you're a smart kid. Um, and, and go for another, role of employment and if you want to come back in four years and it comes up sort of like what happened to bluish you know and say look yeah i did that i was, I was fucking whacked out of my mind kid but now i'm making this kind of contact i don't really think it has anything to do with that and people enjoy what i do and and that would be probably the, the best way back to youtube i i you could never grandstand again no no God. john got oh. removed from college for plagiarism what no he no way no, he i'm didn't. kidding i'm no, totally he not being serious no. <laughs> Lieutenant yeah, Cobra was a 12 year old. Lieutenant Cobra was the 12 year old autistic John was referring to. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Does uh, Willie really want to come in here? Yeah, he. Oh, I want to hear Chani first. Oh, yes. <laughs> Chani is before. Chani! Hey, hey, Squeaky. How you doing? What's going on? First, tell everybody your age. Oh, I'm 22. Okay, go. <laughs> now you can talk. <laughs> go. Oh. <laughs> um, I was just, I was just thinking about how, like, um, not that, um, you know, John's all lied about this one little small thing. Uh -huh. Uh, probably like Chris Hansen or like Susie Lou will probably use this and be like, oh, see, if you lie about something like this. Most well, of course. That's why you don't lie to begin with. Of course. Yeah. And you know what? Here's the thing. It's not a good argument. You got to prove the individual claims that John made that made him lie. You can't just say, um, dream. That's not going to clear the fucking situation up. That being said, Chani, I think people have to go over those videos and see if he spiced it up. I mean, we know Chris Hansen. We know we we absolutely, without a doubt, we know Chris Hansen uh, lied to those girls and and got involved with that documentary and stuff. I don't know that Chris Hansen has ever proven without a shadow of a doubt that there's some kind of big FBI investigation. These are all things that are criticized. They're not off the hook. All three of them. They're not off the hook. But yeah, they can use that. Fuck, I would too. <laughs> well, yeah, you, uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, sure. So, like, maybe some things that John proposed and or thought of or or theorized about. Yeah, they can say, look, that theory is bullshit. That never happened. And it's going to be a lot stronger now. But that, that's a credibility thing. And, and Tom has not. You know? Tom yells at a small... You're All right. Yeah, what's the matter? Are you sleeping? Oh. What? Oh, you sound like you're sleeping or something. Chance. No, I'm just trying to be quiet because it's a little bit uh, late here. So I'm trying to like disturb Is it? You got some kind of Sabbath going on tomorrow or something? Is that what's going on? I oh, know that that already happened. That, that, already, that happened. already happened. All right. Yeah. You, no, you don't live far from like, me, right? Um, can I go? Can I? I, I, I I'll, I'll wear a yarmulke too. I don't give a shit. Can I go to one of your um um ceremonies or something one time? I could be the funny guy at the, the, the um, party. Probably not. I'll wear a yarmulke. Like, I'll wear a yarmulke. No problem. Well. The thing is, like, now that the COVID thing is happening... Oh, I, all right, all right. With, with all that's over. I want food. I want Jewish food and booze, okay? I want to be the wacky guy. I want Jewish food and booze. I, I told you when I was growing up, Mrs. Blum, she used to cook for me all the time. All kosher. It's good stuff. So I'm trying to I'm trying to weasel my way in there. There you go. I'll bring five. I'll bring five-ish with me. How about that? That'll make everybody happy at the fucking... Uh, <laughs> can the, can the uh, Arab come, too? Yeah, yeah, we'll bring no, an Arab, an yeah. obnoxious uh, no, uh, um, East Coaster, and five-ish. And we'll all get really <laughs> drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and all right. German, too. All and right, Chani. Fucking verse over. Verse, yeah. All right, have a good day, Chani. Thanks for calling, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.
I was going to pull Willie, but I guess not. Um, Where did he go? There he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. Get the oh. fuck in there, Willie. Willie, shoot. Hey, I know one of the funniest parts about this whole thing is I was sitting with uh, John in a private call. I go, hey, John, just, just, can you tell me, like, did you, did you just do this thing? Because it seems like something you would have done in your past. And he goes, no, no, no. Like, I swear I didn't do it. And I go, all right, like, how about, and I'm like, so there's this 12-year-old, and you're going to show off that you're a YouTuber, so you logged in on Discord. That doesn't really make sense That's a lot of me. money, I guess. For that's where it began color. and ended with me. He goes, yeah, you know, that's just what I did, you know, like, that's just, that's just what happened. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, can you get the 12-year-old? Like, can we talk to him to, like, know he exists? And he goes, no, no, he can't. And I'm like, well, why not? He goes, well, he's autistic. He's, like, really autistic. He's <laughs> really, and really, like, really so autistic. And I'm like, so you're like telling me this really, amazing. really autistic 12-year-old knows more about the algorithm than me. Oh, 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 but he's oh, oh, too oh, oh, autistic to talk to me. And then, like, I think I started talking to somebody else in the call. Oh, really? And he just got up and walked away. He I'm never, sorry, Willie. Really. The back. problem is if I give him the phone, he'll start drooling all over it. And I just got my new iPhone, so I can't he's, have it. <laughs> he's so... Dude, he blatantly lied to my face. And then he was telling me this kid was too autistic to talk to me on the phone. We couldn't pull him in because he's too autistic. <laughs> God, but you he's think Now that we know this entire time he was referring to himself, it actually yeah, does add up. Yeah, little did we know he it was the sense. autistic 12-year-old the whole time. <laughs> it all adds up now. It you think Bobax would make a video of this on untruly autistic? <laughs> Dude, Not man, truly autistic. It, it was super funny. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, all right, well, I thought that was funny. It is funny. And, uh, the lies are fucking man, it really a scream. Comes around, man, my ego is so big right now. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. Don't no, don't fall in the spoke. trap. I'm not. I'm not. Well, well, I guess you could call the stream a spike, but not, not really. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Fucking, yeah, I'm not happy. Yeah, fucking. no. This, this I'm happy so that he'll never be get a chance to fuck somebody like this again. That's what I'm really yeah, happy I, like, about. I can't believe he just let me and Nick go at it like that and was just happy that, to sit by. That, and that burns my so, ass more than everything. Like the only the, the only reason I'm not dude. furious right now is because I do feel like he's paid a price. You know. Yeah. So like I think the only reason I'm not as mad and I'm I'm pretty mad like for me this I'm pretty mad honestly mm. is, is because I wasn't good friends with him like if I was actually a, like good friends with John mm. I mean dude he fucking I mean there's some serious backstabbing dude yeah oh yeah I think yeah I I think you could make the this is a backstab to all of us yeah for sure yeah no for sure man it, it backstab I, I wasn't even that close to him at all but he backstabbed me you know whatever all right well yeah. take care bud take it easy peace peace, peace. Check, That's a lot of money. Check I guess, the Oreos Twitter video. Or <laughs> yeah. um, is it that good? It's good. Check tell your, Cord, uh, everybody Discord. tell Cordwin not to fucking. Oh, so oh you okay. right is it? Now. Is it? Is yeah, it you gotta does, watch it. Does it have? Um, it has I, you in it. It has you it, in it. That's good enough. You're in it. Tell me. Okay. Go fucking watch it. Yeah. How come I can't get him? The Oreos. Check See? your Discord. I sent it to you. Just go check. I just say this. All right, fine. Let me let me let me put this fucker up here. Is it that good? Oh, no, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's my old house. Some of you might remember that I stood out in this deck three years, three and a half years ago in 2017, and I talked about the commentary community, the brotherhood, and just how incestuous it was. In fact, just how many videos were... Pretty much the same. Everybody's pretty much doing the same topic, and everybody's working to get you with each other. I made a lot of criticisms. Fortunately, most of those guys are gone now. The Brotherhood is no more. Actually, shortly after the Zaptai situation. And then uh, I joined a, uh, stupidly, another group, the CDL, which I affectionately named the Retard Brotherhood. Actually, <laughs> affectionately? No. I, I think it was accurately named. And then uh, I joined the NCL. Oh, we all know how that turned out. <laughs> I think once again the commentary community has become incestuous. And you know what? I might be a part of the problem. But as <laughs> usual, I'm going to call it out and um, be part of the solution. Hopefully another breakup. Yeah. So if you want to hear about that, I'll be on tonight at the end of the show uh, after we get through some of the James Charles stuff. I'm going to vacation. I don't leave this motherfucker with a bang. I'm not done yet. <laughs> what a juggalo, dude! Huge. Balls. I wonder how he got those scars. Yeah, that was that was that was just last summer. <laughs> that was last summer. 
You know, and that that was after an attack from little John's little phonies, like B Billy Douchebag and, and A-Star and all those jackasses. <laughs> when I, I, I rightly pointed out that he fucking lifted a joke. It was a fucking t-shirt contest for Christ's sakes. I don't think anybody even won. They couldn't fucking find it. <laughs> But boy, boy, like, 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 it wasn't a big deal. It's a show. Everybody says I'm dying. Like, nothing's ever gonna, ever good gonna happen to me again. I'm past my prime. But boy, John Swan was awful worried about it. Kind of like he was worried about Dream fucking post on. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's just. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! If only we had a grave to dance on. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Sip man, you on the air. Sip man. Yo, what's up? What do we got? Uh, one. Uh, I want to remind you that uh, the only last time, the last time that I remember Nick dealing with fucking Cobra was with the Pescator thing. Yeah, it was uh, doxing. I don't remember. Uh, thing is, is that the most fucked up thing about all this, besides even just the fucking fighting between everybody, yeah. he was just going to let Gordway go out on the plank by himself. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's, I get tell Cordwood not to make that fucking videos for his own good. Please, chat, do that. Tell him not to make that fucking video. Be friends with John. I don't. I'm not a big. You know, if he can help John change his ways, I'm all for fucking. I don't necessarily believe that. Anymore, but I, if you could do it, you know, stranger things have happened. But I mean, don't jump on him, poor kid. Um, but don't make that video. You got to be nuts. You got to be out of your fucking mind to make that video. I don't care how hard you worked on it. John fucked you. And and the and the best thing about all this, Dream's the good guy in this situation. Yeah, that's the worst, he isn't it? <laughs> gone out. He gave gift wrap. Dude, he gave out. he gave him a huge out. It would have been quite. Well, you know, what, you know what Dream's he, buying there too. With Dream, Dream's buying a permanent no video on him. John I love probably. that Dream is the good guy in the situation. Why is that? Everything when you look back at it makes it so much better. Because dude, he, <laughs> all, like everybody's like t hyper evaluating everything he's doing like if you were growing that big and that fast dude i would be trying to be in front of every situation if i saw it coming i'm, I'm going to try to negate everything i can to the best of my ability especially if i had that sort of information and, and one of the things that i thought of too that that makes me laugh now is like the whole post of john posting the clip of charlie talking about dream and how he's a dick and all that shit when he literally <laughs> fucked everybody he knew over for himself oh. it's so good yeah. oh god so yeah, you're right yeah yeah, yeah it's so yeah, good you yeah, you're fucking right. I wonder, I, I wonder why of. John had gotten so fixated on Dream. I get, is it just because of the video, or was know, there something else but going it's, on? It just makes it that much better. Yeah, it's just because Dream's the hottest thing. The only thing, the only thing Dream was guilty of was being cocky as fuck, and he did do it. He wanted to do it. Whatever, you can say whatever you want. That yeah, oh, most people did. who are successful have that kind of mindset. Yeah, he was doing it with his friends, which is kind of cringe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, he's doing his friend. Yeah, exactly. but, but at the end of this, but at the end of this whole thing, who is the real fucking piece of shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. and that's, one and guy treated on a video game, and the other guy, well, destroyed, uh, almost destroyed a community. There you go. Yeah, um, I, I, there is no forgiveness for that, though. For from John being able to just sit back, let Willie and Nick go at it for the throw. Dude, it got ugly in here too. I don't want to undercut that. It didn't get as ugly. Oh, it got ugly in here. Too. I, I, I was hoping that it wasn't, but when it was, you guys, when it, it got ugly in here too. To it got very team? testy in here. Yeah, and not just with me. Yeah. Yeah, it got bad. It got really bad. God, yeah, it got bad. No, we were getting to the point where we are going to start keeping eyes on him. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to buy his ass yeah, and burn it down weird. like six times. Well, I, I will say this. is two days ago, I talked to Nick. Because like, I think the big question, does he believe it? You know? And then, you know, I talked to him the other day. I was like, okay, great. You know, like, like I remember, so I was like, well, I don't really believe Nick. I don't think that's any better. Thing. But no, here's the good news. Nick believes it. That's like the best thing. He can disagree all he likes. But he believes it. Like, oh, thank God. You know, like, like there's not something else not behind this. You know, as soon as I, I knew for sure that he believed this balls to bones, I'm like, all right, everything's going to be fine. Yeah. yeah, but the other thing I just want to say, though, is, is that when I was in Nick's streams, I, it didn't like when he was going over the whole dream uh, situation with Swan. Mm -hmm. uh, it seemed more that he was just Body more speak. he leaned more to believing John. But he didn't say that he was 100% with John. He's like, well, there's some faults in his story, but there's a lot of faults in dreams, which is what he referred to with all that stumbling that he made. Yeah. They gave John the ability to weasel through. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think, true. yeah, but you know, you know, that's the funny, but dream is doing it. And he knew that dream is doing it with one arm, one arm tied behind his back. He had the info yep. and fucking John knew. 
and he was being and, and, was and, being and, 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 and like can you imagine the balls of this guy you gave him an out and he's going out attacking you in the google doc ah! 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 i mean dream's got incredible patience yeah and and i i feel bad for everybody in the community that was so close that got wrapped up in this with close and i i didn't even see the tipsters video yet and Tipsters i'm going to go sad, that sad to watch because Cause that's him because I, not only I, that because i talked to him and he's like hey guys i'm gonna go now and i i sense i I'm, I'm like a woman i sense this shit i'm like are you okay and and you can tell he was shook up and i just wanted to let him know like everybody still cares about you everybody makes mistakes it's no fucking big deal you just fucking own it and and nick's done the heavy lifting anyway and i think you'll be fine and then you can watch tipster's video and you're like 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 yeah my read was correct like he you really you hurt him you know you really really hurt him so yeah, yeah. he really took play he took he took you know like he, he took he took advantage of people that i think generally have their hearts in the right place and, yeah. and 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 Willie, yeah, I think I though I I think you're wrong, Willie. I think he I, I think John knew because there's no way that Dream was being so nice and kept on saying, "Well, are you sure about this? Well, are you sure about this?" and wouldn't have figured out that oh, well, he must know something. I have an idea, Dream. Why don't you just admit you're wrong in front of everybody? <laughs> 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 All right, get out of here, sip man. Thanks, man. Bye. Hit the bell, join, do all that other good stuff. I don't shield too often, but I'm going to do it now because i got a big crowd. And say the N-word. Yeah. Say, say the, no, don't say the N-word. <laughs> say the N-word. Don't say the N-word. Whatever. Uh, what else we got? I don't know if I want to take calls. Um, Actually, before you took him, I was going to say, you know what we really shouldn't do what? is take calls because this has been so much fun up until this point, yeah. and they're going to fucking ruin it. I already know. Oh, I'm, out of, I'm out of material, time. though. I'm out of material, and don't say that about my fucking callers. How dare you? <laughs> How fucking dare you? How dare you? Dude, we've had shows that where the calls made the show when I was fucking. They, they've lifted the show up. Yeah. How dare you? Give me the percentage I, of what I, shows right. I'll, were at I'll tell you right you now. Made. We have, we, look, we have the best callers, period. Okay. Batnig, you're on the air. <laughs> uh, neighbor. <laughs> how, how are you, sir? What up, what up? Uh, what up what's um, up, man? Let's got one question. Sure. What, what do you think of Dream overall? Doesn't I don't know too much about him, and I think he's just a YouTuber, just like the rest of them. He's just really, really good at it. You know, um, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm think just too much. I'm having this feeling he's a bit of a pussy. I, I don't know. You, I, I can't fault him the way he handled this. I, I, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm really. It looks like he gave John everything. And I, I think, yeah. And, and I think he's, he was buying his way out of a fucking future video. But I think, yeah. I think John gave that up. I don't think John wanted to give that up. Because that's huge. Especially this yeah, guy yeah. is going to continue Didn't to grow. Did you say he was like super stubborn? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've experienced it personally with me and just mild arguments. He doesn't let go on anything. He has to be right. He has to be seen as somebody that's important and intelligent. You know? And then meanwhile, you know, he just kind of lifts other people's shit. And it's not that funny. I mean, he's a great editor. Um, he's a good speaker, good writer. But, I mean, I you know, he just, I think he kind of just picks up and takes, uh, you know, where, where he lacks. You know, and then when when that's pointed out by somebody like me, then then I'm trying to make me a bad guy. I, I yeah, sure. I think if you'd given him any wiggle room here, he would have pulled the backstab card on Nick. Oh, there's just no wiggle room. You know, there's just no wiggle room here. None. So there you go. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know him that well. I, he's been nice to me before. Um, if I get my Twitter account back, it's going to be because of him. Dream? No, John. John, help me my Twitter account. This is... Oh, shit. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate now we don't even want it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can keep it. it. We don't no, even no, want no, it. No, no, that's all right. Just fuck you. I didn't do fuck that. Your Twitter. I didn't do that. But I mean, like, that was a weird position. Like, John had just helped me on my Twitter. Now, he never asked me not to... And I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at the situation. I was like, this smells like bullshit. I'm supposed to go out there and tell people what I feel. And I was like, well, you know, if he approaches me offline, I'm just going to say, John, I don't believe your story, but I don't think it's the worst thing in the fucking world. Well, I understand why you lied because you didn't want to do all this stuff. But, you know, I started, as it started going deeper and deeper, 
that, that's all it is. It's not my fault. I'm glad he helped it's me. Uh, I'm glad he helped my. I'm glad he helped me get my Twitter back. It's the right fucking thing to do. And you know what? If John's Twitter went down, oops. Uh, <laughs> in a different way, I would help him as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! All right, there. Um, uh, all right, take it easy, man. Peace. All right, have a good one, Nick. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Peace, out, Nick. You guys take any opportunity. Um. I, I don't know. What, what's the plan here? Should we read read stuff off or we're coming up uh, on... Go ahead and read donations and call it, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. I guess you could take Matt. Matt's a safe one. You can do oh, Matt. I'm gonna pull Matt in, yeah. I pick, yeah, go yeah. ahead, Matt. I'm going to start pulling. I'm gonna... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't look up the other donations because I've, I've lost access to my Twitter account. So I'm going to apologize to anybody. To, uh, or my uh, Streamlabs. I don't have access to it right now. It's I'm going through a thing. Um, so... Um, I apologize ahead of time, but I will get the uh, the super berries uh, right now. So, oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Remind me to take care of that. Yep. All right. Do I have my phone on me? No, I don't. I can't even do it live. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Oh, that really bothers me. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I do what I can. It's a talk show. And uh, like for the next stream, we're going to be interviewing John Swan. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell. So you uh, are here for that. Mm, right. I'm sure that'll be a great conversation. Uh, and circuitry. as well. Cir circuitry, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> Stefan Carpino. Uh, Tommy's going to cosplay at five <laughs> at Channy's party. Uh, uh, Zana, call, Sh call Shane Dawson. I think we found a sociopath. <laughs> 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 Side effects may include... Hard to breathe with all the gaslighting in this doc. That's the truth. Sweet Nova B. Side note, I've had the bell enabled for your channel for a couple of years and I never get notified. Unsub and do it again. That's what I do. Unsub and resub. Uh, I'm glad this was finally recommended. Oh, great. Great news. Nick, uh, you're a good person. Tommy C. Spelled sus since John spelled plagiarism. That's a $50 donation and I do appreciate it. Um, spelled plagiarism. Nah, it's kind of long before that, but... Uh, uh, I'm not again. I'm not a big fan of knocking somebody when they're moving up. It just makes you look like a bitch. And I'm generally happy when people make it, including, you know, guys that I I don't fucking I'm not in love with. <coughs> Fifty DKK. I feel sorry for everyone who got pissed on. Sorry to Nicholas Bobak's tips for Augie and everybody in the commentary community. You know, I, I got to be honest with you. I knew something was up. Like I did the stream on John, and it, the ratio is like like four percent against or or six percent against whatever it was. I mean, it's, 94%. So I, I, I knew that outside the commentary community that this wasn't going over as well as John thought it was. I think he was kind of insulated by all the commentators that kind of uh, fell. Uh, Hank Sight, thanks so much. Long time fan, Hank Sight. Brian McDonough he used to be uh, he's a defenseman for the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, Nick has really skyrocketed his own credibility. Uh, not that it should ever been in question. Uh, he chose the truth over friendship. Good man. I don't know. I, I, see, the thing is, I would, not in something like this, not in Nick's situation. Nick did the right thing. There are some things that I'm going to protect a friend over, and he can call me a phony because of that. There are there are some things. This ain't one of them, especially with how many people this lie hurt. Mike the Bike, I still like John, but he definitely needs to take some time off the internet and learn better himself. I hate that statement, Mike. I hate it. I wish you would write a song making fun of fucking people. Damn, I'm going to take some time off to better myself. I hate that. I hate it. I hate I hate that word like problematic. I hate that word like influencer. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> the two dislikes were from John's manager, <laughs> Pescator Twist, uh, Pescator Twist Fizz. Now John Swan. Well, John didn't do anything to me, but uh, yeah, maybe John and Twist Fizz will start a band. Um, <laughs> uh, Colum Brave for uh, the, uh, the only we can come back. Uh, the only way we come back from this is to move to the UK. Swans are legally protected under the Queen. <laughs> are they, Jim the Grapple? If you're going to lie about this tiny thing for your image, what else are you willing to do for something worth more? Good question, John. I think it's a reasonable one. Mister Vids, John's new channel will now be called Mundane Swan, <laughs> the narrator. So, Tommy, uh, when are you going to dip in the, uh, the John Pond? And, uh, not anytime soon. God, I hope not. Uh, image, imagine Minecraft being your down cold, icky eve. Side of cups may include the fact that we spent time to make a Google Doc to defend his lies is so over the top. Swan should have just owned up. Ridiculous drama for what? Big E, 
John gonna have to sell his house. Yeah. Uh, Stefan Garbino, the worst among us porn of it. That there, there you go. Oh man. Uh, let's see. I heard I got a lot. John Gone, John Swan. His app. The most annoying thing is Dream will use this to count actual criticism in the community. Yes, we covered that as well. Uh, and a lot of these are repeating. Uh, asking about the French girl interview. Um, Twiz Fizz for whatever goddamn reason. I'm just going to uh, call you out individually. Uh, Wicked Nos Nosferto. Thank you so much. DJ Screwdriver, Mike the Bike. Boofy Wrangland. I said it before today, but John Swan should give you guys his main channel to do a group podcast. Uh, Megan Police. Police. Uh, sec um, why would you try to die on this hill? Yeah, good question. Uh, Sweet Nova B. Jack Bondi. Uh, Lachie Gothboy. And uh, yeah, that's it. And I really apologize for the other stuff because I'd much rather you donate on um, Streamlab. Streamlabs. But I, I've been locked out of my Twitch account, so I can't get it. So I do, do apologize. It's really bad timing. Um, what do you got, Matt? Anything? Uh, yeah. So John Swan is definitely a liar. But there's one thing that he's tell, told the truth about. And we got to respect him for that. What? Sudulu's forehead and how fucking big it is. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you. We can't do that on yeah, you. Can't say that. You can't say that anymore, you shithead. I know you're trying to get jokes in. What the fuck? Okay. Um, okay. I'll also be going to. I have a paid Discord chat. Um, so you can see circuitry right now. You go to my Discord, and I'll be going there right after this. Um, a big shout out to Augie for sending people over here. I do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, if you're a member of the arcade, uh, uh, this channel. Or for some reason you're still a Twitch tub, you can go over there and I, oh, we can we can bullshit uh, directly uh, right after that. And I think after I do some time there, I'll I'll end up talking to you guys in, in the main chat if there's any kind of crowd that's drawn. Um, so I'll I'll be doing a lot of talking to all y'alls um, and and all that good stuff. So I think we've come to the end. Anything else we want to add? Yeah, just one final thing to think about for everyone here watching uh, who witnessed this event firsthand. Uh, John, fuck That's your apology. Money, I guess you are not welcome back. <laughs> Feel free to stay gone. No one wants to see you come back. Uh, and I hope you get uh, taken out of the algorithm if you ever do come back. <laughs> it's terrible. And he right. ran like he's Dan. I also want you guys to sub this guy anonymity. He made a little song for me. Um, you're gonna hear it right now. And he's only at 75 subs. Um, and uh, he made a song for me and Willie. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play that right now. So thanks everybody uh, for being a part of this very special shot from the point. I don't know if we're gonna go live tomorrow. It really depends on how things are going. Uh, I don't normally stream on Sundays. It's uh, or Saturdays. It's uh, Saturday. Uh, it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Uh, but if you want, if we do emergency streams or extracurricular stuff, follow me on Twitter when I get it back. If I get it back, or in the community tab. Thanks so much. Have a good it's one. It's feeding time and the Cobalt Cobra is very hungry. The dish? Cooked swan to be served to the awaiting Leviathan. Dinner is ready. Fuck swan, I prefer goose. This greasy John just sits on Twitter with a new Google Talk every minute. Oh, it's the same lie posted every time, it's just slightly different. Yes, how original subs up in the six figures and this Muppet seals his other sections for his videos. Isn't it kind of sad that you had to crack because you lack talent and apparently can't be fucked to ask? You just got shrecked by an aristocrat. A 99 year old man, what a joke. Still don't even know why you couldn't take a roast. That was fucking delicious. Eggs on toast. Bitch! If you, wanna, if you want to check out Anonymity, he's also in the description box below. Bye. <laughs>